dance for me Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down Come closer, let me see Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. It is Sunday the 8th of January and it's a lovely day so I have been taking advantage of that and starting to do some tasks around the garden. So let me show you what I've been up to and what I'm going to get up to for the rest of the afternoon. Now I haven't done much in the way of growing since I got here but uh, one thing I have done is I planted some garlic and some onions in this bed. The garlic is checkmate and the onions are overwintering troy. So you can see that there's um, a variety of little plants coming up there for the garlic and onions. Uh, but one of the challenges I was having with these girls, you can see they're around here, dum -da -dum, is that they were jumping in that bed and having a good dig around and then they end up scything the tops off the, the plants. So today I put round some protection, some chicken protection. So I had already made that sort of fence just by um, getting little tiny stakes and stapling on the sort of plastic mesh there. And I had that in the previous house and I hadn't used it here anywhere. So I thought this was an ideal opportunity to use it. It didn't go all the way around. So at the top, I've just put another uh, piece of the plastic mesh there. So that's nice and protected. Now I'm not saying that a chicken, if it so desired, couldn't jump in there. There's a couple of the girls that are quite um, athletic, Edith and Hattie, but <clears throat> generally they won't choose to do that because there's so much, you know, so many other places to dig around. Um, and then what I did, it's a funny shaped bed. So there was just a little triangle at the top here and I had, um, a pot with this heart's tongue fern in it. So I thought we'll just put that in there. It's not going to grow massive um, in the short term, but it just gives a little bit of colour and then it, uh, it, it gives some cover there so that the, the chickens are less likely to go in and dig about. So yeah, it's not pretty, <laughs> uh, but it is functional. So I did that this morning. You can see down at the side um, all of this stuff that's um, is it Crocosmia? Uh, I'm just going to dig that up because it's just a pain and uh, we want to get that away because there's far too much of it. I mean, I say it's a bit, there's just too much of it in this area. And in fact, this area here, all of this, I'm going to put raised beds in. So there's a lot of clearing to, to do, as you can imagine. This is at the back of the chicken run. Uh, what else did I get up to this morning? Uh, sorry, I didn't video because my camera was out of battery uh, and it wasn't a pretty sight. It was quite energetic. So you can see there's a big pile here, um, big pile of, and it's um, ivy mostly and the odd bit of rose. <clears throat> and I have, I've already put some in the compost, but I think this I'm going to eventually burn, I think or chop up much more finely and put in the compost but ivy just grows from anything so I don't really want to put the ivy in the compost bin anyway so this is where it came from um, there was ivy big pile of ivy all around here and actually up this this rose as well and that rose was about eight feet tall and I don't think it's the right time of year to be trimming it but uh, or pruning it I should say but I just cut it back to um, a sort of more manageable level um, and I'll need to do a little bit of reading on how to uh, prune uh, bush roses. <laughs> right so yeah in here again around the edge of the chicken run there was lots of ivy and bits and pieces so I've taken some of that up. I think what I will do here is I will <clears throat> continue to, to tidy that and I'm going to put some weed suppressant fabric up to the step there and then I'll put chuckies of some description there some stones and that'll look that'll look pretty and I can even put some pots there I mean I could sort of try and grow things in there but um, I think if I just put the chuckies down and um, it'll stop the chickens from scratching around there and get some nice pots it could be pots of flowers or pots of um, veg or of some description we'll see 
and I can carry that on just up the the side of the, the run here. There's a wall, but then there's this um, little channel here so I can get weed suppressant fabric down. Actually, I'll be putting some slabs down there um, as a deterrent uh, to any digging animals. And there's actually slabs in the inside of the run as well, underneath the bedding. Uh, and then I'll maybe put the chuckies on top which makes me think actually I've got some bits of uh, paving slabs, broken paving slabs, I'll probably put them down over the weed suppressant fabric and then just a, a layer of chuckies of gra gravel or, or whatever over the top. So as well as getting forming my large pile of uh, cut away rose and ivy, I started digging out here. <laughs> it's a bit undulating, but down in this bit of the uh, the garden, there was is lots and lots of crocosmia. I mean, it was just a mass of crocosmia, and it's just a waste of space, to be frank. When I need some growing space, uh, and again over here, lots of ivy, and there's still more to come out, as you can see. My plan here, though, is if I just show you here. Um, I've got this large scaffolding plank and I think it's about, I don't know, 12 foot long and the aim I think is to use that to be an edge, the long edge of a raised bed here so we'll probably make it about 3 to 4 feet deep so just as deep enough that I can reach the back uh, and we'll use the, the scaffolding pole as a border here and then I'll get something else to be the board. In fact, I might not even need a border here. Um, maybe a little bit at, at this point, this lower step. And then over at the other end, there's the wall there. So that will probably give me enough border. But I'll need to put some some stakes in to sort of support the, the plank. And I want to paint that plank as well. So I'll, I'll want to utilise things that I already have because it's I'm going to have to have a, a think about how I get the other raised beds built and from what. But anyway, so yeah, this will this will be the first bed that I'm going to work on myself. <clears throat> um, and I have started, as I say, but it took me a good couple of hours to get this cleared and to get that cleared to a degree. But I've got more digging to do. Uh, and then what I will do is make it a no-dig bed. So I'll get I'll dig out all this stuff and then I will, you know, get the, the frame up and then I'll get cardboard lots of cardboard down and then fill it up with with various things that I have around the garden so I've got um, I've got little branches um, and little twigs and so on and then I've got some leaf leaf litter and some old compost and then I'll get some new compost on top so yeah that's what I'm doing here come closer dance for me easy tiger easy let your hair down Closer, let me see all your million faces and all your million mistakes. You don't need to hide. Come closer so that we can. Right, so it's not beautiful, but once we get that topped up with some sort of aggregate, I think it will be splendid. 
question is, what colour do I use? Do I just get a muted sort of lot of grey gravel or do I get some stones of a particular colour? Let me know what you think. Should I do something? I don't want it white because it will just show the dirt. <laughs> but should I get red or a sand, a sort of terracotta or just go for a grey, either a grey um, sort of pea gravel which might be okay or pea sort of larger stones or pebbles pebbles would be nice but I think pebbles are quite expensive hmm let me know what you think um, that I should put in here as I say it's just it'll, I'll top fill it so it'll look nice and um, uh, nice and pretty if you like nice and aesthetically pleasing and then I can pot pop some pots up here to grow in the summer and I'm wondering now it's sort of north facing I guess since uh, this is the north side of the run but the sun actually does hit it quite a lot I wonder if I could maybe grow some sunflowers up here because then I can you know they, they've got something to to sort of lean on and the the run's sort of see-through so they would get sun even when it's behind there. Hmm, that's an idea. Anyway, we'll see. Another job ticked off the list. Or at least partly ticked off the list. Hello. Hello. So the last thing that I did earlier on, I forgot to show you, is here. <clears throat> so we've got a, this bed was here originally, but it was full of a variety of things. And actually there was a, you can see there, there was a, a quite a large bush at some, of some description. My thinking is that I won't keep this as a bed once I get a polytunnel, because the polytunnel is going to go up here and I'll probably need this, this space. But, um, for now, I had a, a lovely uh, load of tulip bulbs that I'd got from Farmer Gracie and also some allium. So, uh, and I put some in pots, but I thought, well, you know, let's just use this bed. So I've actually filled that bed with tulips and alliums, topped it up with some more compost, compost from old pots as well as a couple of bags of new compost. Um, probably could do with a little bit more actually and yeah and we'll see hopefully uh, we'll get a nice display in the spring of a whole variety of as I say of tulips and of alliums so that'll be quite nice because it'll give us a nice ping of well more than a ping a blast of colour here uh, and it's it's visible from the kitchen over there as well as from the rest of the garden so I hope you're beginning to see some uh, advances in, in what the garden looks like. There is still such a long way to go. But we've got through Christmas, we've got through New Year, we're into January, and yeah, we're in the midst of winter, but um, I sort of get a bit of burst of uh, enthusiasm at this time of year, particularly when we've got a lovely day like this. So um, yeah, I like to do as much as I can do and I'm just looking, I've got my eye on the prize, I want to be growing a lot of um, veg and fruit this year and so in order to do that I need to get the garden um, in some semblance, semblance of order, I need to get some beds done and um, that's really what I'm going to be doing over the, the next wee while. So uh, yeah, hope you've uh, found that interesting, any comments I'd love to hear from you, pop them in the, in the comments below, but for now I will say Bye-bye. Bye for now.